Hi everyone, welcome to episode 15 of Nifty Vanning Ninja Podcast. Um, I have to film from the computer's webcam this week, so I'm sorry if the video quality isn't quite what you guys are used to. But yeah, that's how it's got to be this week. Um, and I am filming a few days late because I want to say thank you. Thank you to everybody for letting me be human and just letting me be sick for a few days. I've had a very bad viral infection that knocked me out for Sunday, Monday, and most of yesterday. So, um, yeah, thank you for staying in here with me and just allowing me to be human and allowing me to be sick. Um, alright, well, I'm gonna get to shoutouts this week. Uh, I only have one shoutout, and it goes to Lulu Bohemian. So, Lulu, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Um, I am always happy to have new subscribers. And the new member of the Reveille group is Beve, B-E-V-A-E, -E, which is Beverly. Um, hi Beverly, I know that you are one of my first subscribers, so thank you for staying with me and continuing to watch all this time. It means a lot to me. Um, also, everybody who wished me well and wished me to get better over on the RAV group. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, I am feeling a little bit better. I'm still a little bit sniffly, um, and you can probably tell by my voice that I'm not 100% up to par, but I am feeling a little bit better, so thank you for the well wishes, everybody. And I'm gonna get into what I've been working on. Oh, sorry, I have to go out of frame to get whatever I'm working on. Um. I am working on the Happy Cheer baby hoodie out of uh, Creative Knitting Fall, no, Winter 2014 issue, sorry. Winter 2014 issue. And here's what I have of it so far. Ooh, that focus is good. Better than my big camera. But yeah, that's what I have so far. And it's coming along. I'm working on the left or right front, I believe. And this is being worked on a US-5, and I'm sorry, I don't have the, uh, mil the millimeter size on this because I didn't write it down. I'm so sorry. But yeah, that's how it's coming along. And Cousin Lisa, I am not ignoring you. I promise I'm going to get your baby stuff finished. It's just because I've been sick, I've lost my knitting mojo, and I haven't knit on much of anything this week. So it's coming, but I'm just slow. I'm sorry. Um... I have worked on the never ending sweater a little bit this week, but I don't actually have a lot of progress to show you guys, so I, I'm not even going to bring it up here. But, the other thing that I've been working on, I told you guys last week that this was going to come in the mail, and ooh, it's a tangled mess right now. But, this is my watermelon sock yarn. Oh, it's showing up kind of pink on the monitor. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Oh, it's still pink. Pull back. It's a little bit better. It's still pink, but it's actually red. It really is red. Um, and this is so much fun to work up. As you guys can see, uh, she has it where you can knit in the seeds. And I'm working in this on a size US1, which is 2.25 millimeter. And I'm doing an afterthought heel. So, there's my little strip for the afterthought heel. It's very, very fun yarn to work with. I very much love this yarn. Um, and as you guys can see, I've really went to town on this sock this week. Um, considering that I only got this yarn last Tuesday. Not yesterday, but the Tuesday before that. So, yeah, I love Abby Grasso Yarns. She is an amazing indie dyer, fiber artist. I mean, what she dyes up, it's custom dyes, and it's just blows my mind. It's amazing. Um, I'll link to her below and you guys should totally go check her out because she has more than just a watermelon yarn. Um, but what this base is dyed up in is a 75% uh, superwash wool and 25% nylon and I have 460 yards. So more than enough to make a pair of socks. I'm so happy about that. The card is really cute. It wasn't in the bag, it was on the yarn, but I put it in the bag myself. 
it looks like it's got that little bite out of it and then it's got that little heart in the corner so that is so cute I love that and uh, of course it had her original card in here and she also sent me this adorable adorable oh the colors are oh, they're not too bad right there but this adorable little um, watermelon stitch marker and I haven't got to use it yet but I'm gonna find something to use it on because it's adorable and I love it muchly so um <clears throat> excuse me if you guys want to get some of this or some other of her amazing colorways that she custom dyes um head over to her Etsy shop I know for the kiwi and I believe this watermelon yarn you have to uh, PM her on Etsy and she will put you on the wait list for the custom dye order of your yarn and this watermelon yarn is $31 and shipping depends on where you live for my shipping it was only $3 but like I said it just depends on where you live but this uh, the yarn itself will definitely be $31 um, so yeah sorry about the crinkling I'm putting it back in this bag that's all that I've been working on this week. I told you guys I've been sick and my knitting mojo has boop, flown the coop. So, yeah. Um, oh. And, I'm sorry, more crinkling. I never took this out of the bag. This is knit, my Knit Picks Palette in the colorway Rosehip. Whoops. Can I get this right here? I'm not used to the webcam. Okay, there we go. And it is a... Ah, sorry guys. It's a fingering weight, 100% Peruvian Highland wool, 231 yards. And the color's not showing up right, at least on my monitor, but it's kind of an orangey red. It's showing up pink, but it's actually an orangey red. Let's try getting it up close. No, the color's not going to show up. Okay. Well, um, and I thought about a headband and fingerless mitts with this since I don't have enough to make socks, but um, I'd really like to know what you guys think that I should make out of this, so if you have any ideas or opinions, please leave a comment, go comment over in the RAV um, group, yeah, just tell me what you would like to see me make with this. So I'm excited to see everybody's suggestions. And I did make a trip to Joanne's this week, again, I know I'm there a lot. Um, but, and I don't care if this is Christmas, which it doesn't look very Christmassy because for some reason reds are showing up pink on my monitor. Uh, but it's red and green and white with silver sparkle in it. And this is, oh, let's see, 718 yards, 98% acrylic, 2% metallic thread. And it's, uh, Ber Bernay, Burnett, however you pronounce it, I'm not gonna argue with it but it's happy holidays and it was on sale for three dollars and 97 cents 700 and some odd yards for four bucks that's pretty good so I don't care if it's Christmas I had to get it because it was a great deal um the other thing that I got at Joanne was I got new project bag material, which I very much love, and I was thinking about making a box bag like my other project bag, but then I thought, this doesn't really look like a box bag, so I'm going to make a wedge bag out of this. Um, this, the green butterflies, it's really a bright green, it's not showing up bright green, but it's bright green butterflies, and then I got this which is flowers and butterflies in a very neutral kind of grayish tone and the greens going on the inside and the grayish is going on the outside and this is going to be a wedge bag so all that I have to do is run to Walmart and get a zipper and I'll be good to go with this and I very much love it it's beautiful material um and that's all that I have this week. I was looking for stuff to show you guys, and I realized that I just didn't have a lot to show you guys this week, so I'm sorry. It's probably going to be a little bit shorter of a show. Oh, but uh, I do have one more thing to talk about before I get on to different stuff. 
But as you guys noticed, I didn't show my vanilla Easter egg socks because, um, as you guys might have noticed, I stole the needles from them to work on my watermelon socks. So those have not been seeing any love from me lately. But I think after those, the vanilla Easter egg socks are done, after my watermelon socks, then these will be my next pair. And I'm sorry, I'm sick, I'm a bubble brain, I do not have the yarn label, so I cannot tell you what brand yarn this is. I believe it's Premier Yarns, um, and I can't tell you what colorway, but it's, it's gorgeous. It's blues, that's actually showing up pretty well. Not as bright as I like it, but it's showing up pretty well. Blues and reds and greens and purples and oranges and yellows so it's gorgeous and that's gonna be my next pair um and this week I thought that it would be fun to show you guys a few old FOs that I have and this one would be my first calorie calorie metry that I made which I will link to it's a free pattern over on Ravelry uh it's a very wide headband most people, I wore it yesterday, most people think that it's a hat, but hey, that's fine. Um, I like to wear it like this, just so the front kind of goes around my head, kind of like a hat. I know that looks really weird, but um, trust me, it looks better whenever I'm trying to actually put it on. Um, but yeah, I like it. It's helpful keeping my ears warm, which is essential to me in the winter because I found out yesterday most people's eardrums go straight in, and mine are weird. They go up into my head like this. So I have ear problems. So this is great for keeping my head warm. It's very nice and lovely. And I'm not going to do this in order. My last old FO that I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you after I show you this. This is a new FO, which you guys might have noticed that I was wearing it. And I actually did finish it. My uh, Hitchhiker scarf, my first one. And... Uh, which side is the right side? Okay. I'm sorry, I know that it doesn't matter, but the way that the stripes go, I, ha I have a definite right side or wrong side to this. So this is the right side. And this scarf is huge. And there's a bound off edge. And my doctor actually complimented this yesterday. She said that she really loved this. I love it as well. It's very warm and squishy. And I like it. It's very colorful. And it, it's big. It's, it's ginormous. But yes, it is finished. And it is blocked. And I love it. I love it very, very much. Let's see if I can get this back on here without it looking totally weird. Oh, yay. Good. Okay. Um, and the last thing that I'm going to show you guys before I let you go, I know that we're at 13 minutes, but I'm going to show this to you guys real quick. My last old FO is on this guy. This is my Mobius Infinity scarf that I had designed and made myself. And somewhere over here, I put a faux. Let's see if we can get up close. There we go. I put a faux button band on it with these lovely, lovely, there we go, buttons on it. Well, let's see. Maybe. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not used to this camera. There we go. There we go. Um. And my new little friend is modeling it for me. This is going to be my new mascot, co-host, whatever you want to call him. This is Herbie, the happy sheep. And he's going to help me model stuff. And I think that he is very adorable. As you guys can see, he's a giant sheep. And I've been knitting for a dozen years and I didn't have a sheep. So I decided it was time to get one. But yeah, he is very very big sheep so um it you guys will be seeing more of him if you guys i mean if a giant sheep wearing scarves and hats doesn't make you smile i don't know what will because that's pretty awesome but yeah 
you guys will be seeing more of Herbie, the giant sheep. And on that note, I guess that I will let everybody go. And um, as always, have a great week. Happy knitting. And I will see you again, hopefully, on the regular, regularly scheduled day, which will be this next Monday. So, yeah. Have a great week. Happy knitting. And I'll see you on Monday. Bye.